Hey, what's going on Flash Mob? It's your boy Flash back again with another video. And if you know anything about me, I've been using HoneyBook now for the past two or three years and I absolutely love it. And just recently they introduced a new service called Smart Files and it's actually an amazing option that allows you to share information with your clients, show them what your products or services are, give them your prices and everything like that. And what actually makes this really special is that it allows them to actually select the options that they want to go with that you offer. It'll generate an invoice for them and it will also go as far as allowing them to make a payment, which is amazing. So just think about it being like an all-in-one document that you can send out one time to multiple different clients. But it does also have its shortcomings. They try to use this like drag and drop template maker to create the documents that you want to share with your clients. But in my opinion, it's not that great. HoneyBook, if you're hearing this, that UI needs an overhaul as soon as possible. So what I started doing was actually using Canva to create the different type of documents or information that I want to share within HoneyBook and then uploading those documents into HoneyBook and using it that way to present my information. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Run the intro. If this is your first time here, welcome. My channel is all about helping you turn your passion into a paycheck whilst taking you along my filmmaking journey. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So let's hop over to HoneyBook right now, see how everything's set up, and then see how we can use Canva to make it all a little bit better. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to Tools, then go to Templates, then you can create a new template. So we can go to like a proposal and there you go. All right, thanks, thanks. So it automatically starts you off with a invoice, contract, and a way for them to pay. And then you can just start adding pages that you want. So what you can also do is just kind of start from scratch. So start from a blank source, or you can also use something that you've already done before. So what I'm gonna do is actually start from a blank slate. We're gonna move this up to the top and we're gonna call this introduction. And then you start off with what they call their blocks. So you have text, a question, image, video, all the way down to here and also some actions. So you can create all these different kind of actions as well. Uh, for the sake of this video, let's start with an image. So it creates this little block and then you can add an image to here. So if you've had, you know, an image that you made before or whatever that you uploaded before, you just drop it in there, you can full screen it and that's more or less what you get. So now you have this image. And then what you could do is crop it. So I'm gonna crop it a little bit cause it's a little too big. So I'm gonna crop it something like that, hit apply, and it gives you something like this. And then what you can also do is once you click out of it, you have these little plus signs at the top and the bottom here. And essentially what they allow you to do is add another block. So you can do it like this. You can add some text, you can add another image, but I'm gonna go ahead with some text. I'm gonna say, Welcome to Flash Forward Media Group. And then when you highlight it, you have the ability to change its alignment. So we're gonna to go to the middle, you can make it bold, you could increase the size, whatever, change the font, change the font or let's go back here, change the font to whatever you want, uh, change the color, and there's a whole bunch of other little things that you can do in here, but let's just keep it simple for now. So we have this thing, it says, welcome to Flash Forward Media Group. It has a picture of me and my business partner. And you kind of go from there. And then you can just be like, next button. You can make this say whatever you want it to say, like learn more or see some of our work. Cool, so when they click on this, they'll take them to the next page. Now, what 
the problem is, is that like, let's say, for example, I want to add some text into this image, right? It's not very intuitive. Like, how do I add text to this? I have no idea. Like, what if I wanted this title to be in here, not up here? How do I do that? Right, and you click all over this thing, you're trying to find it, like there's just nothing there, right? Essentially what you have to do is go here, go to layouts, and then you would have to pick one of these. So like a splash image where you can add an image to it and then add the titles and whatever, and it's like, ugh, just way too many steps. And if you're not really good with these kind of things, you're not gonna find this out very easily. So what I like to do is use Canva, create these type of images or documents that I want to have put into HoneyBook and then import them all into HoneyBook. And let me show you guys just how easy that is. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Canva. And let's go to Let's go to my promotional content option here. So here's a nice little title that I typed out. Looks great. Got some information about my business. Got some information about what we do, et cetera, et cetera. So this is an already created document and yeah, like all the information is there. So what I do is just download it. So download it like I would regularly. And then we'll go back to HoneyBook and we will go to, we'll add a new block and we'll go to image. And then you literally go to, where is it here? X this out. You literally go to where it says upload. Then you file the, find the file on your computer by going in here. So you could just go to choose this and then you can go through and find it that way or just drag and drop it into this cloud here and then once you do that once it's uploaded they'll appear in your library so you guys can see here i already have this one for promotional content already there i can full screen it and and look at how like nice that looks service proposals got the title it's got my you know whatever i need here it's got some information here great now let's say i also want to add some of the information about my business or what we do I can add that right there, full screen it, and then great. Now I have this as well. So it's like really, really, really nice and easy to do. So let's just delete these other ones real quick. Delete all of these. And now we have something that people can just kind of scroll through. And as you guys can see, all my titles, all my information, everything like that, it's all pretty much exactly what it's supposed to be. And what's really cool is that you can just add more pages. So let's say, for example, I want to add a new page and make it my services. Let's say add before invoice. And it'll start off with a blank page like this. And then you literally just, let's say, start from blank. And then you literally just add the services you want. So let's say this is for influencers. I'll add that. And this looks like it's in white. We'll change it to black. There you go. And if you want to add another one, you just go down here and you click another row here. And then again, you just put in the uh, service that you actually want to put in there. Again, this is white. Usually I have it on a black background. That's why the writing is white. But for this example, it's just going to be the opposite. But no problem. You fix that just like that. And then there you go. You can have your, your services there. And then like I said before in the intro, this is a really important part because this allows you to make the client select the package that they actually want to use and then it generates an invoice for them. So let's keep looking at that real quick. So uh, a couple more things that you can do here is in the design, you can change it to you know rows or columns if you'd rather columns than rows. Uh, you could do it like that. This actually looks pretty good, so I'll leave it like that. And then there's actually a couple more settings here. So if you actually click on the, the box here, um, if you, got, you guys can see here, it says selection is required. So when this is on, it means when the client gets to this page before they can move forward anymore, they have to select one of these options. So as soon as they select it by clicking down here, it starts generating an invoice for you. 
and you can have view only where they can't really do anything. You can allow them to do select multiple services, or in this case, I want them to select one. So they can't select both of these at the same time. They have to select one, and then I make the selection required. So there we go. Now we have our services. And again, with the design, you can change the background color. Um, you can make the padding smaller or bigger, whatever you know you really want to do. You can even customize it. You can change the spacing. Just really whatever you want to do there. And this is like the only page where I would say use what HoneyBook provides you because if you try and create your own thing in Canva, then you don't get the ability for them to select the option that they want to select. And that's essentially what you want them to do. You want them to come here, see your services and make them select an option so that the invoice is generated. And then once you do that, it generates an invoice. It'll show whatever their selection is here. Once they make it, you can you know add your taxes. So let's change that to 13%. Um, and what I do is I, I, I show the service fee for a credit card. So that is 3.5% on HoneyBook. And if I want to add a discount, I can offer a discount here and then I can put whatever amount I want to add as a discount, either a percentage or a dollar amount. If this is going to be a reoccurring invoice, you go ahead and do that and make it reoccurring. And it'll repeat every month um, until you know 20 invoices so you can if you have a client that's going to be booked with you for 15 projects or 20 projects you just make this a reoccurring invoice so that they see it every single month and then they make the payment every single month and that's what you want you know it gives them the credit card option and we can go to the payment page and then you'll just see exactly what they would see so if they want to make a credit card payment and put in all their information this is what they see and then they also have the ability to add auto pay, which again is another thing you want them to do. So once they click on that, they can pay. And then in three to five business days, that money is in your pocket. Now, one key thing that I'm gonna tell you guys uh, is if the client makes a payment through this portal, there is a 3.5% credit card fee. It's like a service fee or whatever, right? And that's taken directly off of whatever total you give to them. So that's why I charge a 3.5% up front. And if the client is like, um, yeah, I'll pay by uh, e-transfer or check or whatever, any other means that doesn't involve this credit card payment, then I'll remove that 3.5% charge before they make the payment. The last thing you wanna do is name this something. So I'm just gonna call this test proposal. And then yeah, you're pretty much good to go. When you decide to integrate Canva into your workflow for creating these proposals, it just makes everything just look a lot more professional and customized. And on top of that, it just allows you to share your information in a way that's more specific to your branding, if that makes any sense. So, you know, the fonts that you use all the time, the colors that you use all the time, all those kind of things are already saved in Canva. So you're really just filling out a template with everything that you use in general throwing it into HoneyBook and then sending it off to your client. So it's just a great shortcut and super easy to do. Now, if you guys learned anything from this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if there's anything else that you guys wanna learn about or maybe some questions that I didn't answer, make sure you leave them in the comments below. But thanks so much for watching guys and remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy guys, peace.